Everybody wants to live here now. Here represents, in a way, the people with a tie, the people with a suit, the people with... They only pursue and try to get things by the sure road. The road that doesn't have risk, the road that is certain, the road that doesn't have any kind of rushes or up and downs and and then drops and downs what happened with this is that for example mine have a painting here but it's a fake painting when you put it like this it's dark again this is a painting but it's not a painting it's bullshit this you got it no battery it's gone. That is an iPhone. That is a mobile device. That is a phone. It's, it doesn't exist. It doesn't smell. It's cold. It's, it's a tool. And as a tool, it's all right. But a problem is that it's designed 
to make us think that is real. You touch it and you have vibrations, for example. You put it like down, it sounds solid. They're fucking magicians on sound. Like this, right? It sounds solid, like wow. <laughs> and it's heavy. But it's empty. It's colorless. It doesn't have anything. On the difference, what we have over here is some calligraphy books. These calligraphy books have different names. This calligraphy book, for example, is the book of pornography and sublimation. And this book is full of energy. You can touch it, you can feel it, you can smell it. And you open it like this, and it's a world outside. You have many layers, you have emotions, it's burned, it's imperfection, it's full of dystopian scenarios. There's a lot of pornography here, but a lot of sublimation too. You can see it in different directions. You can see it in different ways. You can turn it around and you have you will have and find a different perspective. You have social political scenarios and pornography. You have explosions on sublimation. You have dependency on your meat brain and how does it spark and how the colors and everything got mixed reinterpreted it it's really something really strong you have up and downs
And then you have another book like this one over here. This is the book of portraits and life. So this is the contrast. And here you have poetical gestures of real scenarios. Scenarios that sometimes are not comfortable. Scenarios that sometimes are deep. Scenarios that sometimes hurt. Scenarios that sometimes brings you endless joy. Scenarios that sometimes make you feel you're the happiest person in this world and you're really fortunate to be here alive. Scenarios that make you think that you feel miserable and you really, really, really don't want to keep experimenting what you're experimenting. That's this book over here. It smell, it's full of candle, it's full of real life, it's full of burning edges, it's full of abstraction, it's full of meanings that are not meanings, it's full of flesh, it's full of passion, it's full of tears, it's real.
So at the end we have this, and we have this, and when somebody asks and they are like, oh, you know something, I think that we have to go sure, we need a paycheck every month, and we need a tie, and we need a uh, perspective that can show us some secureness and that's the way of happiness that's the way of the iPhone our square world limited but sure limited but comfortable comfortable but mediocre but beware sometimes this may fail this may drop, this may fall, and it may be a piece of trash. And when you don't have this, and you don't have your tie, and you don't have the things that that tie gives you, like a house, like that kind of sure scenarios, and you don't have anything else, that's harsh. But when you have this, you can build a house with that. You can build little scenarios. You can build tenderness. You can build alliances. You can feel. And if the house disappears, if the iPhone falls down, if everything vanishes, if you are alone, this will be with you forever. This will be in your core forever. And if this thing disappears too, you can always take this and do another. Another interpretation of the abstraction of the world. This feels. This fails. Sometimes it's not what you want. Sometimes not what you get. Sometimes it's gonna make you feel miserable. Sometimes it's gonna be really imperfect. Sometimes it's gonna be... It's gonna be hell. Sometimes you're gonna feel really, really bad. 
trying to experiment scenarios to build this. But this is real. This is life. It smells, it pains, it hurts, it is real. It's not it's not cold, it's not a machine, you have textures, you have energy. This is the abstraction or the interpretation of the metaphors on abstraction in life, on my perception.